Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here just outside of West Hill on the Citadel server. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday so far. I am usually and consistently full of pancakes on a Saturday and that is no different today. Hope you all had a good brunch wherever you were hanging your brunch hat. Lols Balls, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Sweet Sandy, Blast Jordan, Grandpa Crafter, Jake Chris, good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good afternoon or evening or morning depending on where on the planet you're watching. We are going to be poking around, I think, uh, outside of West Hill. We've got a book with things that we can work on. I do still not have any idea what we're gonna do in this space here, but we did start to throw down this little house the other day. I think I like it. I think I want to try and move it a little bit and maybe we'll take a crack at changing some of the materials that it's made of. Uh, oh, there's a sign. I logged in. It was dark. There were friends. If you find dot dot dot. I don't know. Flaming arrows. It was me. Cosmic. <laughs> That's, great. That's hilarious. Uh, no, it looks like the flaming arrows were gone. I was uh, logged in for a few minutes before the stream started. So they obviously have disappeared. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, there was obviously... Some creepers around it's very dark over here we don't have any street lights or anything like that so you log in at night it is helter skelter for sure uh speaking of the sun's going down so we should go sleep uh i think it's also time we moved the shulker island that's over there we're going to move that a lot closer to where we are potentially working today so we'll see if the inventory can handle all of the shulker boxes i don't i don't think we're going to need more room but we'll see here in a minute uh i obviously don't have room for that I obviously don't need these. We can just throw these away. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Hello, welcome in. Gappy the guy. Good to see you. Cosmic Dancer. One word, lightning. I think she'd get some. <laughs> yep, I can imagine. Or lighting, yeah. I said lightning, but lightning would work too. You can light things up with lightning. There's something very satisfying about removing your old work area. And I'm going to have to use this, I think. Tarsiris, good to see you. Hello, hello. Doing well, Gappy. Doing well. Having a great Saturday so far. Pancake brunch. Walked down to the lake to say hi to some friends. Sprinted back to be able to stream live. It's a beautiful day. And I was joking around saying that um, the 80s kid in me looks outside when I have to uh, sit down and, and stream. I say I have to. Obviously, I enjoy what I do. Um, but, you know, like you've got a stream schedule, it's work, you know, you, you, you want to stick to your schedule as best you can. Uh, and the 80s kid in me is like, you should be outside. You should be outside and playing in the sunshine, not, on, you know, playing video games. But uh, then I spend 20 minutes outside and it's too hot. Like it's 1 p.m. for me. It's the height of the afternoon. I will go outside later when it's cooler. Maybe there's a breeze, maybe somewhere where there's a patio and a beer. <laughs> but right now... It's just hot. Beautiful, but hot. Like, it's very pretty to look at the lake and be down in that area, but there's not a lot of trees on the walk there, and so not a lot of shade. Uh, so the book that we have will give us a little bit of idea about what could be left to be done. Uh, the keep all has inside stuff. I'm going to wait till we're up on 1.21 for, for that. That is also inside stuff, top design. That is all finished so i feel like i can check off the top here fields and grasses curtain wall field extra path to the east so that's over there west hill river and grasses so this is where we're working right now uh, the West Hill River and Grass area. 
uh, Spruce River, I knew about that. North River Banks. Yeah. And road textures. Okay, so there's really not a lot that has to be done. So this is the West Hill River Inn right here. Uh, for folks that don't know, we've called this the West Hill River, and we've called this other one the Spruce River because it's got this giant spruce taiga biome. So uh, that's the Spruce River. So there are some d decorative things that have to happen along this river. This is very bleak at the moment. Uh, this has all been done. So if we pop over here and you look at the, the West Hill River, it's all been kind of decorated to look like pretty natural. So all of this has been kind of touched by me a little bit. It's pretty true to whatever it was when it first when it first was um, created, but we've obviously added things like cliffs and some little sandy bits and stuff like that, and docks and things like that. So uh, what I want to do is address this big flat green area here. That's one of the things on the list. So that house is something we might want to look at. Banana, welcome in. So this is the extra path to the east that that book mentioned. So it's been started. It hasn't been 100% finished. Like this section right here, I would consider finished, but we didn't do that texture all the way along. It kind of, kind of peters off a little bit. So, and then I don't know what to do here. Like I really have no clue what to do here. I feel like I don't want to put a tree there because I feel like it would defeat the purpose of having the curtain wall. Because you couldn't be able to, you couldn't see around it. Right? Like the tree would provide cover for whoever would be coming in. So that doesn't make any sense. So I don't know what to put there necessarily. We do have this house that's kind of covering up that area. So when you're approaching the town, this house is kind of in the way. But then that just feels really empty. So I just, I just don't know what to put up there. And I don't want to just copy this kind of thing. Like I want to try to come up with something new but I just haven't quite decided. I feel like we could get away with a rock or, or rough patch maybe here. We could maybe get away with something like that here, but I don't really think we can get away with it up here. And I don't think I want to put anything in like a pond or anything like that. I mean, we, it, it could be interesting to have like a little runoff or something, but then that kind of makes you wonder where it goes and... I don't know. And then after that, outside here, it's just the road textures. So I want to finish this before we start to work on the road texture, because if we have to move the road at all, it kind of is really frustrating if you've already textured the road. So that's where we are. So I think we'll do a pass on this house. Now, where do I want to set things up where it's not going to be such a screenshot issue probably over here would be a good idea Do I have cobble somewhere? I do. Uh, I don't think I have jungle wood out here.
Oh, that doesn't need to be out here. That can go in here. This can go in there. That is something we don't need to worry about either. Okay, so I think at the end of the last stream, we were debating moving this back a little bit where it was. Hey, there's Dan Grice. How's it going? Uh, banana, I don't know if a flower field really works in front of the town. Like it, it, in terms of, it's kind of decorative and I'm thinking about something more functional. Like the town guard or whatever probably would have cut down whatever trees were there. A tree stump might be a good idea to show that there was a tree there at some point. That might be a good call. Something like that, but bigger. Yeah, so if this thing is gonna be there, this house. I feel like I can get away with it going a block. I don't think I want it to go left or right at all. I think maybe I just need to move it back. It just feels a little bit tight to the road. How many blocks do I want to move it back? Maybe two? Yeah, we'll try to. So I'm going to throw in some decent blocks just to kind of see if we can get a good feel for what we might want to do. Uh, I think we're going to try with regular blocks for the chimney. So one, two, there. A military archery range? We already have one. It's inside. I tend to think about things like this from a logical standpoint. Like, I don't just fill things for the sake of filling things. Like, I, I kind of want to make sure that it's something that makes sense. Um, I know I don't want the roof to be to be dark oak. So, maybe we'll leave it spruce for now. But I can't think of another color for this. But I'm thinking about what I might want to make the bottom out of. I feel like cobble would be good if cobble was the main thing, but I think we might need some pillars here. I wonder if it would make sense to have the pillars be deep slate or something. If I'm going to rebuild it, I might as well take a crack at building it with some materials that might stick around. Maybe this will look good. Maybe the whole house is tough. All right, I need to scoot into the keep and get a couple more boxes of stuff. Hey, congrats on beating the dragon in Minecraft, J. Chris. That's 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 uh, that's awesome. Yeah, the Enderman and the dragon fight are a pain in the butt. I agree. Uh, is there anything else that might be worth bringing out? That might be fun to play with. That might be fun to play with. So with that, I don't want to do white. Don't think I want to do jungle or birch. Thank you. 
put this here. So I think it might be fun to have maybe a darker building here. I think I might want to leave the cobblestone though. We'll just do one section of this and we'll see what it looks like. I guess I need to make more of that. Oh, that came out by a block. Would have been here. I feel like that being a little bit farther off the road is good. I don't like the contrast between the um, cobblestone though, so maybe we'll change it to tough in the inside. That might be too dark for there, I don't know. I feel like I want this to be like a happier looking house, so maybe some lighter colors. Oh my gosh. These guys just don't leave you alone. Not even interested in the interruption today, sir. We're going to switch, I think, to the data pack that allows us to do this in the stone cutter, get the mini blocks, so I don't have to deal with these guys anymore. I wish I could turn them off and be happy with it, but such a pain. So I need to get up here and remove these.
That's going to go one, two. that I feel like I'm missing some blocks. I probably didn't um, finish the whole thing first time around. All right, so just from a visual sort of back from the road feedback, oops, I feel like this is pretty good. I just feel like it's a little dark. Super fast feg, hello, welcome in. Yeah, it's a little dark. We have to lighten it up a bit. What blocks could we use? Maybe this is where dripstone would be a good idea. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's less on top of you as you walk by, which is cool. I was thinking about bringing this out a little bit as well. It has some depth. I feel like that creates a nice thing. Like we could create like a little garden here. That sort of idea. That could work. Yeah, even just adding those bricks there makes it feel a lot lighter. What about some of this other stuff that I brought out for fun? That's a nice light block. This is a lot lighter. There's also the mushroom block. We've done that over there. Uh, no, it's on another building, but it's definitely... Those are bone blocks. Oh, there it is there. The gables. So we could have that be, it's not quite white. Yeah, that looks okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm wondering if acacia would look good with the mushroom stem. They're, they've both, both got that warm tone to them. I 
It's like I can hear footsteps, but there must be a cave underneath here somewhere. I sort of like that. It's not as rustic as I want. I feel like I probably have to do stone. Or maybe stone foundations. This place is all andesite. And that place is nice and light. Hmm. Not quite the right color. A really small space inside. That's not terrible. Maybe if we worked in some brown as well. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Hmm. Not the best. Maybe a different brown. I do like the acacia. I think the acacia helps it be a little bit more rustic. For now, I think we'll go with the cobblestone, but I might be easily convinced to choose something else. I like the size of it. I kind of want to do something different with this other side, though. I wonder if we could move this back at all. Create more of an L shape. I like the combo, the mushroom um, block and acacia. Yeah. I don't know if it needs to go everywhere. Like, I feel like this could maybe be a little bit more sturdy. That feels a little tall, actually. We might want to lower that. Yeah, I almost want to have this side be farther back, you know? So now that I've moved it, I think one of the things that I was thinking about before was that you couldn't see the wheat field on both sides of it, but now I think it's very clear that there's like wheat here and wheat there. 
as far as the view goes. I forgot to look what it, what it might look like from over here. It's a little basic. I kind of want to make it more interesting if I can. You're really not looking at it when you're coming down this road. It does sort of feel a little bit close to like a public path, but like, I don't know. I don't want to move it any more to the left because then it's going to be cover up the, the inn. Yeah, I like the acacia. And I like the cobble. I'm not entirely sold on the mushroom, but I think what I want to do now is pick out a pallet for the roof and see if there's anything more interesting I can do with this back section. Like, I kind of wonder if I move this back section even farther back, if that would make sense. It might be fun not to have the door face like directly this way it might be fun <clears throat> if i can do it to have the door here like i think that could be more interesting but that would involve maybe moving this back by a block And maybe that. Oops. That's cool. It creates a small porch inside. Yeah, I think I'm just, I'm trying to... Yeah, I know, Sweet Sandy. I need to go find the zombie. Uh, do I have torches here somewhere? I probably do. Alright, where is he? Right there. There's already torches down here, so there must be just a dark corner somewhere. Just walked up. Oh, there we go. Obviously a dark spot somewhere. Yep. And everything is just walkable, so I guess they were just spawning and meandering around. Dark spots over there, too. Looks like I've gone that way.
Man, that poison lasts a long time. Alright, I'm not going to go into that mess, but I think that should help. At least in the immediate area. Okay, so if I do that, how do we change this up? That creates a bigger space for the garden, which is also good. Although, yeah, that could still work. Might make more sense to have the path come in the front door here. I don't know. I like the idea of it being separate from the road, though. I like that they have a little front gate. It's kind of different. Now this, if we move this over to here, I just want to pick a different, um, different color for the roof if I can. I normally don't separate things out like this, so this is an interesting kind of twist. Again, does not leave a very big space inside, so we might have to be careful how we handle that. I guess it could have a back door. That's good. So we just have to change the angle of this roof bit. I should really get some scaffolding. So instead of just an L shape, it becomes more of like a T, I guess. It's definitely more fun to look at. Aldabar, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Superfast has gifted a tier one sub to Blast Jordan. Superfast, thanks very much. That's amazing. And Alistair 2. Alistair 2? 
Thanks for the follow. So I almost want to have like a little covered area here. That makes sense. Yeah, that could work. Wait for night. Thanks very much. Yeah, we're sort of messing around. Thinking about different things here. Trying to make a different shape. I don't think I'm sold on the roof color. I think we have to fix that. But I think it's like a nice combination of what's happening around. We've got this dark wall. We do have some bright colors. We've got a very dark kind of andesite and deep slate over there. And, but we've, you know, we've got that, then we've got the dark deep slate there and the brighter colors there. There's no mushroom in that house, but I think I like that. So now I just want to find a way to do the roof. That's a nice compliment to that. Uh, and I don't know, obviously we can't use the red stuff. Don't want to do deep slate. We could try the old stone roof trim. Or what would be another thing? I guess I really want to think about what blocks are kind of behind it. So I don't think yeah, see, a stone roof trim is going to blend in with the background here, so stone there is not going to be good. We'd want that to be a much warmer color. I don't want the trim to be dark oak. I'm really kind of stuck with spruce, aren't I? Maybe if I made the, made the main roof like a completely different block, like a profession block or something, I'd have to go get those. Very tight space. Uh, mud brick is spruce like what different? Yeah, mud brick is good, isn't it? Do I have? There is mud. I do like the packed mud as well. Where have I used the mud brick before? I know I've done it. I think it was down on the flower shop, maybe? Oh no, there it is next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we use the mud brick as the outside? That could be interesting. It's a good call.
It is a pretty similar color, isn't it? I think I might want to use that on the inside. But then, of course, I have to figure out what to do with the spruce. Just because it looks so much like roof tile. Mm. Although it does look kind of fancy. I think I want to try to use the packed mud. I don't think I want to make this a full block taller, but it might need to be in order to sell that roof. Which would make it more interesting as, her, as far as a roof shape goes. And we could work in like little bits of the bricks here and there. All right, well, if that's the case, what color would go good in terms of a contrast to this. What would be a good contrast block to that? Probably something warm. My first go-to is dark oak, but of course that's the same color as all the roofs back here. So what I'm trying to not do is have the edge of this get lost up against stuff that's the same color in the background, right? But I say that, and it is very much in the foreground. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to do the roof with different colors. Um... can't think of I guess what I really should think of is what are what stairs do I have access to maybe polished deep slate Maybe cobble deep slate. Really high contrast, but not in the warm category. I don't think this will look good. No. So we've got mangrove back here. So I don't want to do I don't want to do mangrove. Good. I mean that that would be it would be a little bit I think it would clash a bit, but yeah, not quite right. Hmm.
Another brick is gonna be too red, too bright. Yeah, I really don't have much more for stairs, do I, right? Like, it's just... That's going to be too purple. Maybe one of the coppers would work. Also try cobblestone. The deep slate isn't terrible. What I really want is something kind of like that color, but we don't have that. I think the cobble deep slate is the closest that we've got. What I do have, uh, but not access to yet, is tough stairs and slabs. Although that wouldn't really be a good match because that's very green. All right, let's try the deep slate, I guess. Um, do I want to raise this up by a block? That's the other thing, too. Let's try that. I always really admire the simple stuff like trap doors as a fence. Really simple, really effective. Thanks. Yeah, uh, especially when you start mixing and matching them. You start using, like, the, um, have I done it anywhere else? Not that you can see. But when you start to use like the um, the oak trapdoor as like a gate, it can be pretty effective. If this was to go up by another block, then this would go up like this. I can't make it any wider. Break time says Sandy. Thanks very much for the reminder, Sandy. Appreciate it. Ooh, I don't know about it being taller. I'll have to put the ridge in to see, but I think that might look a little bit funky. I wonder if I could lower the eaves a bit instead. All right, we'll tackle that when I get back. Anybody that's new in the chat, I take a break once an hour. 
Gives me a chance to grab another glass of water, maybe even a snack. You should too. Grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. We're always trying to grow the channel. And I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Maybe we need to go lighter with the roof, not darker. Because I don't think I like the deep slate. I was thinking maybe we can go with like a hay bale roof or something. That might work. So that could go to there. Uh, I guess that would technically have to keep going. Hmm. It doesn't really match the bottom of the house, though, does it? I don't know that that does either. I might have to change out the acacia. What if we went something similar in tone, but more brown? If I kept the spruce, this could work. So I feel like that's a little boring. Pack mud mud looks better, but maybe with something else on the edge, yeah. Yeah, I'm not digging the dark oak because again, it's too much like what's happening in the background. Even though there's lots of stripped spruce over there. I think it's too dark. What is another block that I could put there? I don't necessarily want to go as boring as bricks. We did mess around with this dripstone, but well, it was the wrong color, I think. Yeah, oak to yellow to yellow, what? Oh, is the oak too yellow? No, the oak isn't too yellow. Oh, 
Oh, I see what you mean. You mean in the pillar form? Uh, we yeah. I wouldn't want it to be the same. Wouldn't want it to be the same material as the roof. Generally, when I do stuff like this, I try to use different materials on the top and the bottom, so they don't look completely the same. I should say different blocks, anyway. I mean, that doesn't really go with the deep slate either, right? Yeah. So I don't think there's enough contrast between the uh, packed mud and the spruce. This tends to look a little bit better. I think maybe I need to think outside the box here. So I'm going to go get the profession blocks, I think. <laughs> Ideas have left your brain unless you want to go pink. Yeah, this is the problem of working in this area for the last several years is that you start to run out of block combos that you want to use. Sorry, I'm thinking maybe like I saw um, beehives used recently. I've also really enjoyed composters. I really don't think bro spru uh, birch will look good, but we'll bring it anyway. Oh, inventory's full. Crap. Hmm. I guess I could try to do something with like a dirt roof maybe. That feels not as good as the bottom, though. Just kind of looking around at different roofs in here. They're all so simple because they were early, early on. Sable paintbrush, a uh, decorative maze out front of bushes. Be interesting. I can see maybe like, not something like a maze, but maybe like a thorn bush or something. Something that looks like a bramble or a thicket or something. That could be a good idea. Hmm. Cool. Uh, we've got birch, jungle, and the profession blocks. I don't have any beehives, apparently. Well, that's different, but it doesn't necessarily match the spruce either. I wonder if I can use those down here. No, 
not really. It's a little bit too busy. Maybe we'll just use the barrels in the bottom. Or maybe we can use the barrels with the acacia. Nope. So I think a huge part of this problem is that I just don't like clashing with the block, the, like the builds that are around it in view. I guess we should just try the dark oak rather than just kind of trying to imagine if it's a problem. I should just go ahead and give it a go. We do have trap doors with the dark oak, which will be good. Be helpful. which I probably should have brought up with me instead of just talking about them. Trapdoors and I think that's it. Birch on the edge and green in the middle. Uh, yeah, I did bee nests. And there's also... Um, I mean, at this point, I've done everything. I've not... There's no, there's no block that I'm going to pick that I've not already used in a roof. Birch on the edge and green in the middle. You mean like giving a like a living roof sort of thing? I knew there was one more block I wanted. I need the full plank block. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's the right kind of contrast that I want, right? It's just a matter of when you're coming into the town, 
when you're looking at this thing, is it going to blend in to the to the towers behind it, right? Right now, it just looks like a mess. Let's see. I feel like I'm getting lost there with the dark oak. Does that makes sense to people. See how the roof is the the roof line is disappearing. Maybe I should just do the whole thing in mud brick and brick, or mud mud brick and packed mud. I I could use the trap doors maybe a little bit. So suspicion confirmed. The um, dark oak is not good. If I put this back to Acacia, maybe? I'm not sure whether polished is going to make this look too fancy. That's not terrible. It, it, I don't know if it necessarily matches the acacia, but I like that it's, um, I don't have slabs in those, do I? I only have slabs in those. It's probably a decent solution for the roof line anyway. Now, do any of the other blocks that I was thinking of work well with with that? Maybe we can work in some mushroom blocks or something to try and add some texture. Oh, nope, not there.
Ooh, do I like... I don't know if I like that high part of the roof. I might have to push that a little bit farther to the right. It's weird that it ends kind of like right there. Maybe we can put a window or something up there. Hmm. Sometimes these little builds just kick your butt. That shouldn't be there. All right, uh, let's drop some stuff. Not liking that. Don't think we're gonna use those or those. Yeah, I don't know about the drop in the height. I think it might be easier just to keep it all one level. Do I have any mushroom blocks? I do. I think these will look okay. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot easier if I take this down back to the, the height that it was. Okay. Maybe I'll lower the front roof part. So this is going to come back. This is going to go to there and then here. I think that looks good. <clears throat> not as interesting but hmm oh maybe we can raise the middle part 
Maybe that's the better way to do it. So instead of rating, raising the left or the right, maybe the middle part should be higher. Even if it's just a block. Or that's half a block, I guess. Yeah, that could be cool. If I can work out how to make it look good. Maybe it's just a full block the whole way? And then we could do like a stair here and here. Pretty narrow through there, isn't it? Hmm. This might be one of those places that looks good on the outside, but does not look great on the inside. So I don't like the full block ridge, so we're going to go a full block higher rather than half block higher. And that will mean changing this. Uh, what we could do, though, is this maybe? Oh, no, wait. Uh, that could work. Maybe. Definitely adds a more cute vibe to it, that's for sure. Where were the mushroom blocks? I don't remember. Over here? Yes. Like maybe get away with this. Not crazy about that. The block palette's not terrible. I think I might end up going with more spruce underneath here. P1, hello, welcome in.
Inventory is full. Hmm. I feel like I like that. Elkhorn, welcome in. Good to see you. We've been struggling with this uh little house all day. Oh, it's definitely better before. Okay. Version 15 of the roof. <laughs> and it's okay? Yeah. It is annoying when you put down the mushroom block. And you have to replace it. I feel like that's all right. I mean, we could put that ridge on on all the sides too. Give it a little bit more room on the inside. Uh, what would that be? That would be probably upside down stair. Right. Does create a bit of a shadow, but I don't mind it. We just run into the same problem of the roof. Well, I guess it doesn't really have to continue past that, does it? We can just keep this going around the back. And connect the other side to it. So many blocks everywhere. Wow, that's a dark storm. Right at, right at sunset. What were we up to today, Elkhorn? Anything cool? Roof needs a pressure washing? Yeah. No, I 
think I do like it shorter. All right. Worth a go. It's a thing when it's only a few blocks wide. Like you might as well just give it a give it a shot, right? McScrewgun, hello, hello. Welcome in. Dark Horse, hello, welcome in. I need more of these planks. Or slabs, rather. Dark Host, Horse, thanks for the follow. So, don't need the tough, and don't need the barrels, and I don't need the bricks, but I do want some more of these clay mud bricks is what I want. You lose a... Oh, no, okay. I was like, I thought you lost some there, but you don't. We're going to have to figure out a different chimney. I think we might have to do like a deep slate chimney or something. So this is going to go away. This is going to have to come across here. And this is going to have to end somehow. Oops. Well, that's annoying. All right, so if that's going to go to there, I feel like this is going to back up a bit. This is probably going to be brick and then slab. That looks okay, I think. Maybe not here. Nope, that does look funky, doesn't it? I think maybe we'll get rid of this. The rate is slab. It's a weird little house. That's probably better.
Well, poop. I've had. I'll have to watch the VOD. You were running errands. Yeah, you'll. Uh, you can catch that on Joel Duggan VODs. I've been putting. Um. I've been putting the VODs up pretty quickly. Those are on Joel Duggan VODs for people that don't know. So I like the peak, I'm not crazy about the white color. I think that looks okay. I'm a little bit iffy on the fence now. I think we might have to go with a different fence. I wonder if andesite would look better than cobblestone. Yeah, that's a little bit cleaner. Yeah, I like that better. It's funny that we you put all this effort into the roof and really it's nothing but the entrance. So the high ceiling is only in this section. Although I guess we could maybe turn this into the kitchen area. And maybe have like a bedroom back here. I may want to expand this backwards here. Oh yeah, I know how to do campfires and smoke for chimneys. We're not going to put any smoke on this one. There's already two chimneys happening in the background, so I don't think I need to add any here. But this is just a placeholder for now. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get to that. I'm just kind of figuring out the, the basic block palette. I think I've got it. I think I know what I want. I'm thinking also we could use either all of these or more of these. What other trap like what are the other trap doors we have that are slightly different colors? Right. So spruce jungle jungle might be okay. Let's see what the jungle look like. This is gonna to be too loud. These might look okay. I might actually try to put this on the other block. Oh, that goes better with the bricks. I should have remembered that. Was there only two of those? Later, Dark Horse.
So something like that could be fun, especially if we can tie it together with a jungle sign on the outside. Oh, no. That's out here. I have to be on the inside. Uh, yeah. Okay. All the difficulties of block spaces. So then inside here, this could be some sort of little garden. I don't know, maybe fix up the path a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit wide. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. We could also take this all the way to the edge, but right now I think it looks okay. A little bit easier to walk in now, which is nice. Not crazy about that. Maybe this could be spruce. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. Okay, so then maybe we'll also have, we've got a back door. Then how do we want to think about this space? I like the block palette. Now we just have to kind of make it feel like it's at home in the landscape. I feel like we can probably do like a little corral bit here. So for now, maybe I'll just do like a little post there. That could be good as like a back fence. And then maybe we could have like a little path going out the back. Probably come around here. We will work on that and make it feel a little bit more natural, but I think that that's a decent, decent stab. We could decorate this with some bushes or something, just your average kind of foliage. Just a little connection here. Now here it would be probably a gate. Uh, let's go with maybe farther apart.
So that could be like a little area where they could have like a garden. Uh, like... Something like that, maybe. That could work. I'll just quickly throw in some fences just to kind of solidify the idea. We could also work in better. We could probably do more spruce and stuff back there, but that's that's pretty good, I think. I feel like that makes sense. Looks like it's part of the area. Gives something to look at when you're walking by here. This will be nice and low, so you can still see the wheat fields in behind. It's a nice thing to walk past. I don't think it's too large. It doesn't take away from the area. It does hide a little bit of the wall for the main main build, but I think that's kind of part of the charm. I may I may end up taking that to be shorter. Which is fine. Yeah, I like the colors. I think it works out pretty well. Took us a while to get there. But like sometimes you even these little builds, um I I often find the smaller builds are harder to figure out sometimes. Also the last builds in an area are also more difficult. But anyway, folks, that's where I need to pack her in. So I'll uh, pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. It looks like we have a few choices. And I am going to send you along to, got Drathmore, False Symmetry, Aldabar. Uh, you know what? It has been a hot minute. Let's send you along to um, Aldabar. Uh, great streamer. I think you will enjoy them. Very chill. Very similar to this channel's vibe. Uh, I will be back on Wednesday for a stream. We also have a new episode of the Spawn Chunks coming out on Monday. Uh, I do not yet know who the guest is, so I have to sort that out. Uh, but you can, of course, check that out at thespawnchunks.com. Listen wherever you listen to your podcasts or listen on YouTube. You can listen to the Citadel Cafe, my other podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. And of course, uh, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite streamers. I have one. It's less than a single cup of coffee per month to join my Discord and support my streaming work. So if you'd like to hang out with all of us in between streams, by all means, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Next time we log in, we'll be working on this house again, I'm sure, and finishing up the green space here just to the um, north of the West Hill River Inn. As we get closer to finishing this area, we're getting real close. There's only a few more things on the list. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. I will see you next time. Bye for now.